Hey guys and girls, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Hugh C. Fishing. Today's video, we're going to be talking about jigs. Jigs one of the best baits to throw if you want to catch the biggest fish in the body of water that you're on. We're going to be breaking it down. I'm going to be talking about sizes, colors, uh, the equipment you're going to be throwing, and other stuff like that. So guys, stay tuned. So starting off, there's a bunch of different styles of jigs. There's flipping jigs, casting jigs, uh, swim jigs, finesse jigs, all this, all this stuff. To help break it down for you guys, the jig that you're gonna be using, it's gonna be dependent on what you're fishing, this cover or structure that you're fishing. Football jigs are gonna be really good for whenever you're uh, throwing it in brush piles, stuff like that you don't wanna get hung up in. Flipping, of course you're flipping into bushes, stuff like that, skipping jigs, skipping up under docks. Swim jigs, reeling it through the water. Casting jigs are kind of an all around uh, jig, casting it out, dragging around, it'll come through a lot of stuff. Um, there's other uh, specific types of jigs, like finesse jigs, uh, ball head jigs, other stuff like that, but we don't, we won't get into it in this video, this is just a short overview of the type of jigs you want to be using. In my boat, I like to keep everything as simple as possible, so I don't really want to have to think if I'm throwing the right jig head, jig style, uh, for what I'm fishing, so the great thing about Sixth Sense is they actually have this hybrid jig and it covers everything. I throw it offshore, I flip under docks and stuff with it, I flip it into bushes, I can skip with it really well. The only thing I won't use it for is throwing it as a swim jig. That's what the Sixth Sense swim jig's for. You guys can kind of see here, maybe it'll maybe it'll focus, maybe it won't, but the Sixth Sense, this is the Sixth Sense hybrid jig. It's kind of got an all around style head that allow you to drag, skip, come through cover really easy. So that's my jig. I throw it for everything except for throwing it as a swim jig. The most important thing when it comes to throwing a jig is going to be color and size. Um, for size, they come from eighth ounce, quarter ounce, three eighths, all the way up to one and one and a half ounce. And the size you're going to be throwing is really going to be dependent on what you're fishing. If you're fishing like heavy matted cover, that's going to be want to be throwing a one, one ounce, one and a half ounce uh, jig. Most people aren't going to be doing that. Most of my jig applications are gonna be throwing a quarter, three eighths, and half ounce jig. Um, that that really is what my tackle box is full of, is those quarter, three eighths, and half ounce. When I'm choosing between a quarter, three eighths, and a half ounce, I'm gonna be trying to go with the lightest I can get away with, the lightest I can feel when I'm dragging on the bottom, the lightest I can flip into the cover and be able to get through it all. Um, so most of the time, that's gonna be a three eighths for me and whatever I fish. Uh, around Texas, three eighths is gonna be perfect for me. If I go offshore, maybe a half ounce. So it's only only two colors of jigs that I'm gonna use. I try to keep everything as simple as possible when it comes to fishing, so I don't have to do any thinking. I just have to worry about where the fish are at. So the two colors that I'm gonna be choosing is gonna be a natural color, like brown, green, stuff like that, or it's gonna be black and blue. Black and blue is a really good color when you're in dirty and stained water. And then when I'm in a little bit clear water, normal water, normal watercolor, I'm gonna be going to one of those natural colors. So the natural colors is gonna be like uh, brown, green, stuff like that. And there's really only two that I have. One is gonna be just a straight brown. This has a little bit of green in it, a little bit of blue in it. This color is gonna be one that I'm throwing in really clear water. That's gonna be five foot, at least five foot of visibility for me to be throwing that color jig. And then the other one is a pretty, pretty specific color for me. It's gonna be this like lighter green with a little bit of orange in it. In the summertime for me, whenever I see fish are really eating crawfish, they'll spit it up in my live well, they'll spit it up on the bank. And sometimes those crawfish have are green with a little bit of orange on their pinchers. Throwing that color jig with a little bit of orange in it is just something that I like doing whenever I know fish are eating crawfish. Uh, I know what the crawfish look like and it might help me get more bites that other people might not be getting because I'm throwing the most natural looking bait possible for these fish. Most of my jig applications is actually gonna be done on two rods. One of the rods that I'm gonna be using is gonna be the Castaway Rod 7'3 Grassmaster Braid Rod. They make it in their lower end series, the Tyrannus, all the way up to their highest end, the Invicta 2. Uh, so it can really match your price point uh, for what you wanna spend on the rod, but they're all great rods, the Grassmaster Braid. That's gonna be a 7'3. That's when I wanna be a little bit more accurate with my casts up around docks and stuff like that. And the other one is gonna be the Flippin' and Pitchin' Rod by Castaway. That's gonna be a 7'6. I like throwing that when I'm offshore or I'm in real heavy cover. I wanna make sure that I have the rod to get them out, make sure I have a longer arc on my on the end of my rod so I can get a better hook in those fish and get them out. Talking about the reel, uh, every single jig I'm gonna be throwing is gonna be on an eight to one reel. It's gonna be a faster gear ratio because I'll make sure I can pick up enough, 
pick up enough slack to make sure I get a good hook set in those fish. Some of these jig hooks are huge. The bigger six cents ones have a bigger hook. Uh, as you go with a bigger gauge wire, bigger hook, thicker hook, you're gonna want a rod that can, you're gonna want a bigger rod, bigger line to help get the hook into those fish. So talking about line, almost all the time I'm gonna be throwing 20 pound fluorocarbon if I'm throwing those heavier uh, gauge wire hooks. Those quarter, three eighths ounce jigs, you can get away with throwing 17, 15, and then the really light wire stuff like finesse jigs, you can get away with throwing 10, 12 on those. Another huge component of your jig is gonna be the trailer that you're throwing. For me, like I said, I like keeping things simple. It's gonna be one of two. It's gonna be a flapping style, like a stroker craw, a uh, speed craw, other things that have appendages that flap a lot. The other style, the other style of trailers I'm gonna be using is gonna be a non-flapping style, and that's gonna be stuff like the prawn, uh, D-bomb, stuff like that where the appendages don't flap as much. And what's gonna determine the type of trailer I'm gonna be using is gonna be the time of year. In the warmer months, everything's more active. Some of you want to be throwing the one that, the type of trailer that flaps a lot more, gets the attention of these fish, they swim over to it and they eat it. Everything's cold-blooded underwater, so in the winter months when everything's moving a lot slower, it's not gonna look natural if you're throwing one of these things, one of these jigs that has flapping trailers on it. So you'll be throwing those rodent styles and those tend to glide, don't have a lot of action. So that really makes it look a lot more natural to these fish, helps you guys get more bites. So those are two types of trailers that I use. And I usually, I wanna make sure that I'm matching the color of the trailer to the jig skirt that I'm throwing. Uh, that's another big thing is making sure everything looks streamlined and as natural as possible. Most of the time for my jig applications, I'm gonna be throwing the quarter, three eighths and half ounce. Um, I'm going to be throwing that on the Castaway Rods Grassmaster Braid Rod. I actually feel like throwing mine in the Skeleton Series. I'm going to be throwing that on 20 pound fluorocarbon on a fast gear ratioed reel. So guys and girls, I hope you guys learned something from today's episode. Let's talk about jigs. One of the best baits to catch the biggest fish in your body of water, whether it be lakes or ponds, and it works all over the country. So guys, thanks for watching.